From Bond Hill to Avondale, then in East Price Hill, three teens were injured in shootings just this week, all of those in the early evening. We cannot uh, normalize it, but it is a reality. Those victims are only 13, 15, and 17 years old. Pastor Ennis Tate mentored one of the victims for years. There's an aftermath that comes with it. That, that man just it eats away at your, your psyche, and so I'm hoping that we can get him some support uh, immediately. Cincinnati police say all three of those teens will survive, but may never recover mentally. Whether you're a child or an adult, whenever you're struck by gunfire, it's going to impact the rest of your life. The number of teen shooting victims this year is about half of what it was a year ago. So far this year, Cincinnati police have recorded 17 youth shooting victims. Lieutenant Jonathan Cunningham hopes their newest initiative will cut that number down even more. The message is clear. If you're going to have your firearm with, it, with you, make sure it's secured and secured in a way that someone else will not gain access to it. Safe Gun Storage Week reminds gun owners to lock up weapons at home and in your car. Simply locking your car door isn't enough for the groups of people breaking into cars looking for firearms. And in return, we're seeing these firearms at crime scenes or in the hands of individuals who should not have them. As police work to combat the violence, they encourage teens to hang out in safe places. The Cincinnati Recreation Commission will provide safe activities all summer. They want to live you know, a free life and it's important for the community to be able to put our arms around them and be able to provide that safe space for them. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.